and Paul O'Grady live. And here comes. Okay, then, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, coming out of dressing room three and about to appear at the top of the stairs, he's still the reigning WBA super lightweight champion of the world. Will you please welcome King Khan himself, Mr. Amir Khan. <laughs> Is that real gold? I think it is, yeah. Are they real bling. diamonds? Uh, I don't think they're real. Look no. down the pole and chop hands on the <laughs> yeah. Amira, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Still a champ, kid. That's right, right, yeah. Still unbeaten. Still un I'm sorry I missed it. The fight. Yeah, you, yeah, I'm looking forward for you to be there. I mean, you've not missed the last few fights. You I know. There. Well, I love them. I, you know what I mean? The boxing. I'm absolutely crazy for it. Like I said, I thought, especially last time when you was at the fight, I thought you were going to get in the ring and fight yourself. Oh, I, was... <laughs> I was like, well, Paul, stay out. Stay out. Let me deal with this. I, tell you, I used to go to the Liverpool Stadium when I was a kid to watch yeah. the wrestling. And there was always an old woman in the front who used to try and get in the ring. Kill it! <laughs> and I'm a bit yeah. like that myself. It's rubbed off on me. How was the fight? How did you feel? Yeah, the fight was good, yeah. you know. Um, not fought in England for the last um, 14 months, coming back home. It's been home. a while, hasn't yeah, it? Where have you while. been, Amir? I've been to America, fought there. Yeah. I had my last two fights over there. Uh, previous to the one in Manchester, I was fighting in New York at the Madison Square Garden, sold that out. And what then, was that like, Madison Square Garden? Amazing. I mean, yeah. my dream was to fight in New York, and when I was there, it was like, wow, you know, I'm here. Yeah. yeah. And I had my name lit up in New York, and from there we went well to... Well deserved. Yeah, yeah, and from there we went to... Um, uh, Manly Bay, uh, Vegas. Oh, fabulous. And that was brilliant as well. Like yeah. I said, I see my name lit up in, in, on, the, on the strip and it was amazing. I uh, won that fight and um, still kept the title. And the last fight was in Manchester and I won that uh, in the sixth round. Next fight, I'm coming to. Definitely. The next one's in America again. I'm coming then. The I'm going to be there. Pay for it. I'll, yeah. I'll go. <laughs> If you're listening to that, you lot in the gallery, I'm going to see a mere face and I'll do the report. I can't, you'll be blind drunk, I'll be I, no good. I, I need a bucket man, I mean, I've oh, not, I need mean, a bucket man, so we, we need you. Do you know who the bucket man is? You know, you wear a white polar neck, don't you? Yep. When you're the bucket man, and you have a spot. And what does he do? Does he G you up? Does he say, no, get out really, you know, all, all, all he does is just hold the bucket while you spit it. It's spitting it, really. It's quite, it's quite simple, it's quite simple. But you can, you know, you can say a few words, I mean, I'll listen to you. So I hold the bucket and you spit in it. <laughs> don't you take the gum shield out, though? As well. No, oh, that, I want to do all the bit with the spoon, and I say, You get in there, and I rip his head off and weigh <laughs> on his neck. Go on. <laughs> no, that's not the trainer. The trainer takes the gum shield out. Oh, no, you won't need to train with me, Amaya. I'll <laughs> deal with it all. Let's have a look, shall we, of the highlights of last Saturday's fight. I'll get going now. Here, wait, hear me. A performance like they've never seen before. There's a lovely right hand from Khan. <laughs> Got him again. And again, body shots, lovely shots. Boy, Freddie Roach looks a bit perplexed in the corner. And there's a clash of heads, both of them coming in. And I think Michael has that card. Amir! Fabulous. I mean, I love it. <laughs> now, this. There's been a lot of controversy about this fight, hasn't there? Yeah. Because McCloskey, he wants, doesn't he want a rematch? Yeah, he wanted a rematch because um, had a, we, we had a clash of heads in the six rounds. And, but, you know, looking, looking at it on paper, I mean, I was beating him every round. Exactly. Uh, six nil it was, for a uh, unanimous decision from all the referee. And, you know, like I said, that's boxing for you, you're going to make mistakes. And, you know, we both went in with the heads and he was cut. So the... the Did you headbutt him? No, he headbutt me. Oh, did he have <laughs> <thought, yeah. laughs> you know, him, right? Getting a cut then. But the end of the day, I really think, you know, in, in a way, it saved him. I mean, yeah. the doctor kind of saved him because yeah. I think if he had gone another one or two more rounds, I mean, that, that cut would have got bigger or I would have knocked him out. He's got the most vicious punch. I mean, like, no messing with you this one. Mine. Hey? <laughs> you have to see mine. You mine. You give a rabbit punch, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't watch boxing. Do you know what I, I, I love? Watch it. Um, I can't watch you're it. You're so calm before the fight. You, I go in and see him, and he's there on his uh, game console, aren't yeah, you? Well, I not. can't believe how you're so relaxed. I'm one of them guys, you know, I'm just dead chilled out. You I mean, are? It never gets to me. I've had over 100 amateur fights, and as a pro now, I've had 25 fights. And I'm just kind of chilled, you know. I know I've, I've done a hard work in training camp. I spend a lot of time in America yeah. focusing on my training. And I know I'm ready for the fight, so I just go in nice and calm. I go through the game plan with my trainer, so I know exactly what to do in the fight. And I just stay nice and cool. I oh, know, it's, am it's amazing. Now, as, as you said before, I get very excited at the boxing. In fact, I ended up on the news. 
You should have heard me, sister. Hey, I'll watch this. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump in. I may have. James was pulling me back. Yeah. Honest to God, I was going to get in. What Could were you saying? Oh, I can't repeat it. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, clearly. You know, a lot of people say. That, that was in Glasgow. That was in Glasgow, yeah. And um, you know, a lot of people say you can't hear uh, what what the crowd's saying when you when you're fighting because you're so focused on your job. Yeah. But I could hear you. You I can hear me. Now. I could hear you. <laughs> 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 but they're so sociable up in Glasgow because she went either come and have a drink and of course so I go in to see the fight and I'm like you know <laughs> amazing, come on, uh, amazing wherever you go you know around England I mean it's brilliant to go in because they're just such big boxing fans yeah, everywhere yeah, you go and yeah. the crowd like we sold around about eighteen and a half thousand yeah. tickets uh, on <laughs> Saturday and they were all amazing you know the crowd was cool even though there was a lot of Irish fans there yeah, but they were, yeah, after that they gave me yeah. a good round of applause Brilliant. and well they were done brilliant. to you still a champ Amaya that's what Still's I wanted here ladies and gentlemen please let's hear it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>